Hey guys, happy Monday. It's um Monday, May 3rd, 2010. That's insane, by the way. When did it get to be May? Seriously, time is going very, very fast these days, in my opinion. <sighs> okay, so this week we are talking about gender gumby. I don't know if you've got if you guys have heard of this, but um when I went to Gender Odyssey um, last August, um, there was a workshop that I went to, and it had us filling out this thing. And it's basically, um, I'll put a link there um, to a video explaining it. But basically, um, you have, and mine's a little bit different than the one that I found the link for, but it's basically the same thing. It's um, charting where on these lines you feel um, your gender identity is located. Um, it helps you kind of figure out, I don't know, figure out how you're feeling. Um, and it's really particularly interesting because um, in the video that I'm going to put, uh, they talk about how it changes and how if you do one, you know, every couple weeks or something, it might be really interesting to see um, how your feelings or opinions or whatever change. Um, I know mine has certainly changed over a long period of time, but I don't know every couple weeks for a change, but sometimes, I guess. Um, anyway, so here is my gender Gumby. And then I also have a, um, a sex Gumby and a sexuality Gumby that I got from the conference. So we'll see what I have time for given my track record. Okay, so I'm going to try and <laughs> read this. It's going to be really hard. Okay, no, that's not going to happen. It's backwards on the computer. I'm going to read it like a children's book, like the librarian or school teacher. Okay, gender Gumby. Desired gendered anatomy. What you'd like your gendered body parts to look like. This was interesting. Um, Here's all the stereotypically male-bodied things and the stereotypically female-bodied things um, in terms of sex. Notice how I don't want any of these? <laughs> um, it makes it quite clear, actually, really. Anyway, um, it would be really cool to have a bigger clit or, you know, something like a penis. Um, I definitely want a flat chest. There's no question about that. Um... I don't really care about balls. Who? I don't know why anyone would really care. I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. I don't care. But I certainly know that I don't want Gina. So it's all the way over there. Um, okay, next one is gender identity. And this is how you feel on the inside. Gender queer. I know that one. That one makes sense. <laughs> I like that. Um, the other options are woman or feminine identified or man or masculine identified um the next one is gender expression here um outer appearance i'd say i'm more on the masculine side of um, outer appearance gender expression behavior i'd say i'm and it's confusing because masculine and feminine switch sides i think maybe they messed up but um, I would definitely say I have more stereotypically feminine behavior um, according to society standards of what is masculine and what is feminine. Weird, the light just changed and went in my eye. That's nice. Okay. Um, gender expression behavior. Perceived gender expression. That's interesting. I don't know how to answer that. The question is how do others read your gender expression overall? Um, stereotypically masculine, stereotypically feminine, or androgynous? I don't know. I don't know. I think probably these two things confuse them. I look masculine. I act feminine. So, I don't know. I had to guess. I don't really know how people perceive me. I wish that people perceived me more on the masculine side, but what am I going to do? So, I think they perceive me as androgynous because I don't know. Um, and then gender socialization, how were you raised gender-wise? I was raised as a girl. 
um, as opposed to the other ones which are versatile or boy slash man. And then it says environment. I wasn't really sure what to write there. Um, loving household. Um, Boston. I don't know. Um, okay. I guess I'll keep going. I find this pretty interesting. Maybe if I switch sides, I won't look directly into the sun. I don't know. We'll try. Okay. The next one is Sex Gumby. Um, see? Sex Gumby. And my legal sex is female. Uh, my assigned sex at birth is female. My perceived sex, how others read what's between your legs. Again, I don't know how to answer this question. My assumption is people read me as female, um, but maybe sometimes they're not positive. So, female and unknown. Chromosomal sex, XX. If I remember my biology class right, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, biological sex hormonally, that's interesting. It wants you to rate your testosterone and your estrogen from low to high and low to high. I don't know, honestly. I don't know how to answer that because I used to have a little more testosterone than biological females and the normal amount of estrogen. But now that I'm on the shot thing, I don't know. Technically, it's turning off my ovaries, so I think my estrogen levels are dropping. I don't know what that does for my testosterone. I'm pretty sure that in female-bodied people, your ovaries produce testosterone and estrogen. So maybe both are dropping. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Physical sex. Reproductive organs, external genitalia. That would be female joy. Joy, joy, joy. That's um, sarcasm, just in case you weren't sure. Okay, so that's that one. Seven minutes. I can so do the sexuality gumby. Woo. Sexuality gumby. Sexuality gumby. Okay. Um, sexual orientation. Um, gender identity of partner. And I think that would mean of potential partner, seeing as I am not really partnered. Um, so this is the one that's changed a lot for me, particularly. Um... Well, I guess they all have, really. But, um, certainly I would love to date a genderqueer person. That, that would be ideal. Um, but I'm also quite interested in the masculine side of things, which they labeled man, which I don't know about, or butch, or aggressive identified, as opposed to woman, or femme, or queen identified, which is really interesting language. Um, anyway, sexual orientation, the gender expression of, um, my ideal partner um, would definitely be either androgynous or more along the masculine side. Um, sexual orientation, anatomy of partner. That's really hard. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I put down something, but I don't know. Ideally, seriously, ideally, um, when it comes to what's between their legs, I don't really care. Um, more ma male stuff sounds exciting, but I have no idea. When it comes to having breasts or flat chest, flat chest for sure. Um, and when it comes to having a vagina or scrotum, I feel like those two things do not belong on the same line, but maybe I just don't understand biology. Anyway, I kind of rather they didn't have one, but... I don't know if it's that this seems a little silly because I should um, desire people not necessarily based solely on their bodies and their parts like I feel like that's really important so I find this part difficult um, okay oh god 45 seconds I can totally finish this all right sexual orientation sexual role of partner versatile active or passive I would definitely say versatile or active, and for myself, I would say versatile and more on the passive side. Um, I'll let you infer what that means. Um, and the last thing is sexual political identity. Selectual is what I was going to say. Um, what word do you describe your sexuality as? Queer. Yay. Okay. <sighs> well, that's all the time I have.
seriously. Um, but I hope that was interesting. Check out the link. Do it for yourself. I don't know. I found it quite entertaining um, and maybe shedding some light. See you guys later. Bye.